Why is carbon special? There are now more than 10 million organic compounds known by chemists. Many more undoubtedly exist in nature, and organic chemists are continually creating new ones. Carbon is the only element that can form so many different compounds because each carbon atom can form four chemical bonds to other atoms, and because the carbon atom is just the right, small size to fit in comfortably as parts of very large molecules. Having the atomic number 6, every carbon atom has a total of 6 electrons. Two are in a completed inner orbit, while the other four are valence electrons which are the outer electrons that are available for forming bonds with other atoms. The carbon atom's four valence electrons can be shared by other atoms that have electrons to share, thus forming covalent shared electron bonds. They can even be shared by other carbon atoms, which in turn can share electrons with other carbon atoms and so on, forming long strings of carbon atoms, bonded to each other like links in a chain. Silicon another element in group 14 of the periodic table, also has four valence electrons and can make large molecules called silicones, but its atoms are too large to fit together into as great a variety of molecules as carbon atoms can. Carbon's ability to form long carbon-to-carbon -carbon chains is the first of five reasons that there can be so many different carbon compounds, a molecule that differs by even one atom is, of course, a molecule of a different compound. The second reason for carbon's astounding compound forming ability is that carbon atoms can bind to each other not only in straight chains, but in complex branchings, like the branches of a tree. They can even join head to tail to make rings of carbon atoms. There is practically no limit to the number or complexity of the branches or the number of rings that can be attached to them, and hence no limit to the number of different molecules that can be formed. The third reason is that carbon atoms can share not only a single electron with another atom to form a single bond, but it can also share two or three electrons, forming a double or triple bond. This makes for a huge number of possible bond combinations at different places, making a huge number of different possible molecules. And a molecule that differs by even one atom or one bond position is a molecule of a different compound.